We are now going to look at how to work with the properties panel. Within the properties panel, which is located on the bottom of our code window, if you cannot see this window, you will go to Window, Properties, or Control F3 to bring this window to the front. Within our properties panel, we have two divisions, the HTML and the CSS. For now, let's select HTML. We will now insert a body of text. To demonstrate the property inspector, we will view this body of text and how we can create the structure within the properties window. For now, it is asking me to refresh. I can either click refresh or press F5, which will now bring upon, on the top, you will see in the live view, a body of text, and below in my code, a body of text. Let's go ahead and format this body of text. To format the body of text, we have the format pull-down menu, which will allow us to add a paragraph, meaning content, into the website. So by clicking paragraph, you will notice it added two tags, the P open tag and the P close tag. This indicates that this body of text is now considered a paragraph. We can also modify this to be a headline. A headline can be done through one through six variations. These variations are by size. A heading six is much smaller, as you can see in the split view, than a heading one. So a heading one is a larger text of a heading, and a heading six is small. Therefore, a heading three is right in the middle. By adding different pre-formatted text, we can quickly add the HTML elements by the design view. We can also say into this paragraph, add bold by making it strong, adds the HTML strong, and closes the HTML strong. We can italicize. It will add the EM and close the EM, and we are able to view this in the live view. We can also add from the Properties Inspector panel different variations of the design element. For example, I can say this will be my headline and this will be my bullet. To create the variations, I will now click Refresh. We will make this a headline. And for example, you'll see how Dreamweaver automatically assume my bullet was also a part of the headline. We can just select the H3 element and move it to the top, thus eliminating the bullet from the headline. By selecting the, the bullet, I can come to my unordered list and hit select. And it has now created a bullet for my very first bullet.